Hey guys, what's up? So we're back again with another cocktail from my great Drinking with the Saints book. I love this book. There's been lots of things I've found in it that I've really, really enjoyed. First, I have a correction to make. All right, so my boy who gave me this book uh, saw the last video, he was making fun of me for being old because I couldn't remember on what occasion he got me this book that I do like so much. So anyway, Jake, hope you're happy. So my boy gave me this book we were in grad school together, working on our PhDs and stuff together. And uh, so Jake was a year ahead of me. And so he left first, right? He left a year before I did. Got himself a big boy job, went out into the world. And his kind of uh, departing gift to me was, uh, was this excellent book, which I have used a lot since then. So anyway, thank you, Jake. Hope you're happy doing great out there. So again, he went out, got himself a big boy job at a great school. He's crushing it out there. Super proud of him. So uh, there you go, right? So today, as this video comes out, uh, it should be the feast day of St. Michael, September the 29th. Uh, in, the older, uh, in the older form of the Mass, right, the older form of the Roman calendar, St. Michael gets his own day. In fact, all the archangels get their own feast days. In the new calendar, they're all smushed together and we can forget about that. So St. Michael's Day. All right, so I saw this cocktail out of uh, the Feast for St. Michael. It's called the St. Michael's Sword. It's got a great sounding name just to start off with. So it uses, uh, yeah, one and a half ounces, all right, of devil's cut bourbon, right? Uh, so you guys know, you've probably seen the commercial where they explain this to you, right? As the whiskey ages, the part that evaporates, they call that the angel's share, right? It evaporates off, goes up, the angels get their part. As bourbon is aging, some of it soaks into the wood, right? Just in the trade, this is called the Devil's Cut. Uh, and, you know, I assume just like so many, uh, you know, wringing out a towel, there's ways to kind of wring out the wood, as it were. And you get that sort of super saturated, really rich uh, kind of bourbon uh, that they bottled, right, under the Devil's Cut. But on today, the Feast of St. Michael, who cast Satan and his fallen angels out of heaven, we are taking the Devil's Cut back from him. All right. So an ounce and a half of Devil's Cut Bourbon, and then about three quarters of an ounce of Blackberry Brandy. All right, uh, so one thing about this, I had a snifter of this the other night. I can't say that I particularly enjoyed Blackberry Brandy. Uh, it both smelled and tasted exactly like cough syrup. But who knows, in our bright proportions in the drink, maybe it'll turn out great. So anyway, Right. We use blackberry brandy, and in fact, there's a lot of emphasis on, black, uh, on blackberries on St. Michael's Day. In fact, right, I also have this wine, you can see that I've uh, sampled it already, from St. Michael's Winery. It is a blackberry wine. Right? So why the focus on blackberries on St. Michael's Day? And as my wonderful book explains, right? So the legend has it uh, that when St. Michael cast the devil out of heaven, he fell into a blackberry bush probably hurt, lots of thorns, right? And so he cursed the blackberry bush. And this is why after the fall equinox, or right around September 29th, you know, within a week or so, uh, blackberries go out of season, right? You don't eat them anymore. So oh, that's interesting, right? So we have our blackberries, uh, our blackberry brandy, our devil's cut bourbon. Give it a nice shake. Get that nice frost on the glass have our rocks glass, right? We're gonna strain it into, uh, strain it into a rocks glass just like this. There we go, can I get that on camera? Look at that, <laughs> let's go, All right? And then uh, the recipe also calls for this. This is the first time I have had orange bitters. Thanks, mom, that was my Christmas present. All right, so we have a couple dashes of orange bitters that we put ooh, right on top. Smells great. Mmm. I always have enjoyed bitters. It's one of the more interesting parts of cocktails. And then finally, right, garnish with maraschino cherry. I don't know. What do you think? Smells good. I can smell the blackberry. Interesting. It doesn't come in the blackberry brandy doesn't come out real heavy in the drink, so that's good. It's just there 
It's a little bit of a slight undertone. You can tell that it's there. That bourbon provides a real nice base though. And the aromatic orange bitters uh, have, provide a great aroma for the cocktail as well. Mm. Interesting, right? Yeah. All right. Very good. So, toast to the Archangel Michael. We can pray. St. Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle and be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, God bless.